This particular container is the Bravo container. It'll be one of the base containers that Charlie and Delta will be placed on top of. And then in front of this container will be the Alpha container. And they'll all be welded together. So the issues that we, the big, one of the biggest issues we have is um, access, both vertically and horizontally in ships. So this simulates those access issues and our guys can practice and wearing all of their gear, going through uh, access ports, whether they're doors, vertical hatches, horizontal hatches, and dealing with uh, the confinement and trying to fit through things and doing it in a smoke-filled smoke environment. You can't see. Second container is being put in place. It'll marry up to the first. There are passages that pass through both of them that helps uh, simulate the, the girth of a ship. The idea behind this entire prop is to duplicate the efforts that firefighters are going to have to make when they're uh, shipboard or submarine firefighting. So these containers have, have been modified with vertical hatches and horizontal hatches that emulate uh, ships and submarines. After the USS Miami fire, uh, come to realize that we needed to uh, increase our training in both shipboard and submarines. So the best way to do that is to actually have your own uh, trainers. That way you can work to your own schedule, rotate your people through, and this, these are the first, or this is the first uh, marine trainer uh, in any of the regions. So we're southwest region. This is the first trainer being installed. So we're the guinea pig. We're sorting out the bugs. So far everything's going very well. In addition to training the federal firefighters, <clears throat> if you have a, a working shipboard or submarine fire, you're going to uh, be uh, largely dependent on uh, resources coming from outside agencies. The wrong time to uh, see the inside of a submarine or a ship for the first time is when it's on fire. So this way, with, with these new tools, we'll be able to uh, not only train our federal firefighters and our city firefighters, but having them work together in developing the trust relationships that are absolutely paramount to shipboard or submarine or any kind of firefighting from that matter. In the recent past, both the fire department and NAVFAT crane services have developed uh, a working relationship so that we become uh, a viable asset uh, to rescue operations. <clears throat> and that relationship has uh, really made doing these crane operations, installing this trainer, uh, pretty seamless.